Yesterday on Friday, June 24th, the pre-search team announced the minimum pre-search tokens needed to stake in order to host a pre-search node will increase from 2,000 pre-search tokens to 4,000 pre-search tokens, effective July 1st. Any nodes staked prior to July 1st will be grandfathered in at the 2,000 staked pre-requirement. So what does this mean? This means if you're considering hosting a pre-search node, you should get it up and running prior to the July 1st deadline when the new requirements take effect. I've been experimenting with several VPS or virtual private server options for my pre-search nodes over the past six months. I wanna share those results with you today so that you can make the best decision when determining a VPS service for your pre-search node. Let's get started. So some of you may be wondering, what is pre-search and what is a pre-search node? Pre-search is a decentralized search engine with more than 3.5 million users and nearly 200 million searches a month. It offers users three unique value propositions, having control over their data and privacy, getting paid for contributing value to their ecosystem, and a decentralized search ecosystem. Next question is, what is a pre-search node? A node is a computer contributing computing power to the pre-search network. In exchange, you earn pre-token. Node operators will be compensated in pre for the value of the work and capacity they provide to the network. There are at least seven different kinds of operations that a node can perform. They are registering, validating, coordinating, federating, serving, crawling, and indexing. So essentially a node is a computer that's providing computing power to the search engine. So currently the pre-search token pre is trading for about 10 point six cents per token. So effective July 1st, staking a node will go from costing 2,000 pre times 0 0.1056, so $211 per token, to 4,000 pre times 10.56, $422 per node. So essentially the staking cost for a node will double. So unlike some other cryptocurrency node projects currently out there today, you don't lose your staked pre when you host a node. You can delete the node and you'll be returned your staked pre-search tokens. And just a reminder, if you enjoy this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help the channel. Thank you. And just to get this out of the way, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Do your own research before investing in any cryptocurrency projects. Let's quickly walk through the different pre-search node hosting options that are currently available. Upcloud.com, Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS, RackNerd, FluxOS, and then a host of others. Now, I have tried all four of these first four, but then the, these final others amounts I have not currently tried. The first, we'll talk about Upcloud. Right now, to host a node through Upcloud, you're looking at a $5 a month per node. They are very easy to set up. The YouTuber, your friend Andy, has a great tutorial online on how to set up a pre-search node using UpCloud. I'll link it down in the description below if you'd like to use this. One benefit is they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're unhappy with using UpCloud, you can get your money returned within the first 30 days. All right, next is Amazon Web Service, also known as AWS. From what I've found, the price per node is about $10 per month, which is considerably more expensive than upcloud.com. I did an experiment last month with AWS where I moved a lot of my pre-search nodes over to AWS. I did a separate tutorial on how to set up pre-search nodes using AWS. I'll link that video in the description below. But I did find that the $10 a month was significantly higher than some of the other options out there, which really does eat into the potential profitability of running a pre-search node. Number two, reliability concerns. I did have issues with AWS going on and offline, several of my nodes. Um, so I did find it somewhat unreliable compared to some of the options I've tested out there. Uh, number three, the price fluctuates based on use. I did see a fluctuation in the, in the cost that I was incurring for AWS, which was somewhat frustrating when I'm trying to fix my costs so I can be profitable hosting my pre-search nodes. All right, number three, RackNerd. Uh, this is by far the lowest priced option I found out there currently today. Uh, you can get a, a node for $22.99 a year, which averages out to $1.92 per month per node. Uh, you can purchase this either annually or every other year. So those are the two options. So the downfall here is you do have to pay up front for a year or two years, and they do not have a monthly payment option similar to the other options out there. I did find it very easy to set up. 
In the description of this video, I'll link a setup guide that I use to set up my nose through RackNerd. I found RackNerd to be the easiest out of all the options that I tried in terms of VPS services. And I've only been using RackNerd for about a week so far, but I've found it very reliable and um, I'll continue using RackNerd going forward if it continues to prove to be reliable. All right, next is Flux OS. This price is one Flux per month and currently Flux is priced at about 46 cents per Flux. So you're looking at a cost of 46 cents per month. And for that, you get between four and five nodes. Uh, the caveat is you must have an active Flux node to be able to run a pre-search node on your Flux node. Now the one big negative with the Flux OS is there are some reliability concerns. I've been testing Flux OS for about four months now and I have had some reliability issues with my pre-search nodes that have been hosted through Flux constantly going on and offline or being deleted and replaced. Some other hosting options out there that I have not yet tried, uh, Threefold, Microsoft Azure, Stack OS, Linux FPS, and any other VPS services. Pre the pre-search team has put together some nice documentation in terms of how to set up VPS services using these different methods. So if you'd like to explore these, I'll link that also in the description of this video below. So the four different VPS options that I've tested so far are upcloud.com, Amazon Web Services or AWS, racknerd.com, and Flux. From what I've found, I found racknerd.com to be the cheapest and most reliable option for me so far. So I have decided to move all my pre-search nodes over to RackNerd, and I did that earlier this week. So you can see here, I currently have 146,000 pre-search staked, and that's staked on 73 different pre-search nodes at 2,000 pre-staked per node, and they're all on RackNerd at the moment. And I've got two nodes waiting for once I have enough rewards to stake an additional node. Uh, currently, my Flux server is down, um, so I do not have Flux nodes hosted, but once I can get my Flux node back up and running, I'll start testing the pre-search nodes running on Flux again. Which VPS service are you using to host your pre-search nodes? Is there anything I'm missing in from this list? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm really excited for pre-search over the next several years. I think there's tremendous upside potential with this project, especially if they can continue to grow their user base and add on advertisers. We know Google is the big behemoth in the search market, but if they can just even take a small percentage of the search space from Google, there would be tremendous value for this project going forward. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.